By far, absolutely, pre-licensure was the hardest part of my entire therapy career. I wish I could go back and give myself a huge hug and I hope that that's what this video feels like. I'm gonna share three things I wish I had known as a pre-licensed therapist. Stick around till the end because the last one might surprise you. I'm Kelly, let's get into it. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kelly Stevens. I'm the founder of Private Practice Pro. I'm a private practice owner myself with over a decade in the field. I've taught graduate students, I've taught practicum, and I'm here to tell you the three things that I wish someone had told me early on in private practice. All right, here's thing number one. I want you to start building your network right now. Now, this might seem like a totally unnecessary step. I promise you it is not. This was actually one thing that I did do early on in pre-licensure and I'm so glad that I did. I want you to get a spreadsheet, Excel, Google Docs, whatever it is. I want you to open a spreadsheet on your computer and I want you to write name, address, phone number, email address, whatever it is. And every single time you meet another therapist over the next few years. And I promise you, you are gonna meet a lot. You're gonna have guest speakers in your classes if you're still a grad student. You might go to networking events. You might meet professors who have private practices. Whatever it is, I want you to start keeping a list of all the names, emails, whatever contact information you have about the people in your network. If you start doing this early in pre-licensure, you are going to be shocked by how many people you know when it comes time to open a private practice of your own or go out into the career of your dreams. And the more people you know in this industry, the better. This is an industry that is all about connections. So early on, I want you to start that spreadsheet. And then I want you to make it a goal if you're in grad school, maybe to go to coffee with one other therapist per month. You could go to professional association meetings and meet other therapists. You can meet other therapists through the alumni network at your school. Whatever it is, I want you to make an effort once a month to meet another therapist. Professional relationships at this stage of the game are what open doors later on, so start now. Thing number two that I wish someone had told me early on in pre-licensure is that it does get better. This sounds obviously very corny, right? It gets better. Okay, no, but it actually does. Pre-licensure was extremely, extremely hard. I know for me during that time, I absolutely did not have enough money. I was really worried each month about how I was gonna pay my rent, how I was gonna pay for groceries, let alone how I was gonna get health insurance. I felt like my sites weren't necessarily always giving me good training. I didn't feel like I was always getting supervision that I needed. I felt like no one had my back. Literally, it felt like it was going to be impossible to get licensed between having to balance all the different roles of showing up as an early career therapist and as a graduate student and as a daughter and a wife and a friend and all those things. It was so much. And I know it doesn't seem like it now, but I promise you it does get better. Regardless, if you aren't getting a pay bump when you get licensed, that's definitely not the right site for you. But the further along you go through the process, the more control you have kind of of your own destiny. And I wish I could just look that grad student in the eye. I wish I could just look myself in the eye as a grad student and say, Kelly, you're not gonna have to juggle so many things forever. This career is worthwhile. You can make a good living and help people at the same time. Even if people are telling you you can't, you can and it will get better. The last thing I wish someone had told me, I wish I could shake the camera and tell you this. The last thing I wish someone had told me is it is possible to make a good living in this field and help others. My very first day in graduate school, I can so vividly remember one of our professors gave us an article. I don't even know where this article is from. Basically saying licensed therapists in California make $40,000 a year. Now I was living in Los Angeles at the time. If you know anything about Los Angeles, living on $40,000 a year, especially when you have student loans, feels very challenging. And so I was immediately so disheartened. And what I realized through going through the process of licensure is really that a lot of my professors, although I had some fantastic ones, many of them were not in clinical practice. Many of them were researchers, especially at the institution that I went to that was a research heavy institution. Many of my professors didn't have great advice about how to make money in this field while still helping others. I wish somebody had also told me one day you can leverage what you know 
know, you could write a book, you could have a blog, you could host workshops or retreats, you could open your own treatment center. There are so many different things that you can do to help people while earning a good living in this field. And oftentimes when you're in the trenches of pre-licensure, no one tells you that. So I'm here to tell you, you absolutely can make a good living and help people all at once. It is going to get better. And I want you to make sure to hang in there even when it feels really hard as a pre-licensed therapist. I hope this helps. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Kelly. I post all sorts of things about private practice and I'll see you in the next video.